Hi everyone, this is Yana, and today I'm sharing a clean and simple Happy New Year card with a fake embossed background. I'm also going to talk a bit about using color coordinating products to make embellishing a card a much easier task. By the way, the card that I'm sharing today is a guest designer project for Virginia's View Challenge. The theme this month is clean and simple cards. I'll have a link in the video description and also on my blog to that challenge for you to check it out. Today I'm going to be working with a stamp and cut set from Hero Arts called Fancy Cut Holidays. This is one of those sets that has a stamp and then one or two matching dies. In this case, uh, dies do not match any of the stamps in the sense that you would cut the stamped shape out, but there is a sentiment that matches the other sentiments and images in this set. So you can use this Happy Holidays die and combine it with the stamped images. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the word die happy and we'll create a faux embossed card front. This is a very easy technique that's been out there for ages. Uh, it doesn't require any actual embossing or anything of that sort. It does take a little bit of time to make, but the result you end up having is very beautiful. We're going to need a piece of cardstock for our die cutting, the same color that is our card base. It is important to use the same brand and the same color of cardstock to have the most realistic effect. If we use one brand of cardstock for a card base and then a different one for the die cut words, it might show up on our finished project. So I like to use the same identical brand. The one that I'm using today is uh, from Nina, it's Solar White cardstock. Now there are two ways this can be done. We can either add double-sided sticky tape to the back of our cardstock before cutting it, or we can add glue or use a sticker maker machine for our die cuts after they've been cut. I personally like the first option best as I think it saves a time and because I really don't like to work with any liquid glue unless I absolutely have to. But you can use whatever method you prefer, just pick up the one that you like best. Now if you don't have a wide double-sided tape like I have here, try using some adhesive sheets. I know that Scrapbook Adhesives has some. Those are basically double-sided adhesive sheets about a size of an A2 card. Just adhere your cardstock to one side and have the same adhesive back that I have here. I'm going to begin die cutting my words out and notice that I'm placing the die on the non-sticky side. I'm using a piece of washi tape to hold it in place and running that through my machine. Now this die cutting part is going to take some time, but you'll need to die cut a bunch of words out to make sure you have enough to cover the entire front of the card. And by the way, you can do this trick with other shapes, not just words and not just for a holiday card. I'm using the word happy because I want to continue the sentiment from my card base onto a stamped element. Now notice that I also had some partially cut words. I cut those out because I knew that I wouldn't need full words for all the areas of my card. So I was trying to use my cardstock wisely and so I die cut a few partial ones as well. I'm going to place my words diagonally and I'm just going to eyeball everything. You can use a pencil and a ruler and draw some very light lines on your card base to make sure everything is going to be adhered straight. So I have my first word down in the center and I'm going to keep adding words trying to create a diagonal pattern. Notice that I'm adding those partial words to the sides where I don't need a full word. Now if you were to deck out the words without the double sided tape on the back, you would have to use some kind of adhesive to adhere them to your card base. But by having that double sided tape on the card base, I basically made easy stickers for myself to use. All I have to do now is just peel off the backing and I'm all set. After my entire background is covered with those die cut words, I'm going to use my scissors and we'll trim the extra pieces and we'll end up having a beautiful one of a kind fake embossed background. Now there is a technique where you can use this piece with another piece of cardstock and run it through your die cutting machine using a Spellbinders tan embossing mat to create an actual embossed background. I'm not going to do that today, but I thought I'd mention that in case some of you wanted to try it. After my card base and my fake embossing is done, it's time to think about the main sentiment and some embellishments. I want to use these felt snowflakes from Hero Arts. I think that they will make a perfect addition to my clean and simple card. I'm going to use just one larger snowflake and I want to have it placed behind a stamped sentiment. Now I do not want to introduce too many colors for my card. I want to stick with just two, a white and an additional color. So I'm going to grab my Hero Arts ink color chart and we'll try to see which colors of ink I need to use for my stamping to match the color of that uh, stamped sentiment to the color of the snowflake. 
Now, this is the beauty of using the color coordinating products. Here I have an embellishment and then an identical color of ink. This makes it very easy to create beautiful cards. Okay, so after I identified the colors of the ink that matched my felt snowflakes, I did some test stamping and decided that I liked the dark purple best. It's a nice shade of purple, slightly darker than my snowflakes, so it's going to stand out nicely from the background. Now, I'm not going to throw the other stamped banners away. I'm going to come back to them later when I have a bit more time and will make identical cards but use other color combos. I'm going to cut my dark purple banner out, leaving a small white border around it. I only need to use the new year part. I'm going to trim the happy part away. Now, I can still use it on a card. For example, I could place it on the other side of the card. But I'm not going to do that today. I already have the word happy repeated many times in the background in my fake embossing, so I'm only going to use the new year part of my sentiment. I also wanted to share a little trick that I do. Right now, I'm not sure if I should trim that snowflake or keep it as is. In cases like this, I use something to block the part of the object that I'm not sure about. I'm going to use a piece of cardstick and just place it on top of the snowflake to see if I like it trimmed or if I like it whole. This is just going to help me visually mask the snowflake. I think it actually looks great both ways. I like the trimmed snowflake option and the non-trimmed option. I'm going to go with the non-trimmed option for this card. Whenever I'm not sure about an element uh, on my card, I also find it helpful to take a picture of my project and look at it from a distance. If I'm making a video, I usually look at my camera screen, but if not, I just snap a photo with my phone directly from above and that really helps me to see if my design lacks something or if I have too many objects on my card or if the colors don't go together. So this is just a nice trick. Finally, no card of mine is ever complete without some sort of tiny embellishments. Today I'm going to use little purple and clear gems from Hill Arts and just place a few randomly onto my card base. I also like to use sequins, especially in different sizes or little wood veneer stars or even little drops of inks. I am going to use gems today and will try to scatter them around the background. I'll have more around the snowflake and the sentiment and last in the other areas of my card. So this finishes my project for today. Thank you for watching. You can find the list of supplies to create this card in the video description and also on my blog. If you're looking for more videos using products from Hero Arts, be sure to check out the link you see on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. Thanks. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I have new videos coming out every week. Thanks and bye.